The JBL Live Pro 2 go for as little as 100 bucks here in Australia. The AirPods Pro 2, 350 if you're lucky. Now at this price, you'd expect Apple to demolish JBL, but, but demolish them is exactly what they don't do. So today I'll be going in depth, comparing them in every category down to which bud sounds the best with 13 different genres. Now starting with how the buds fit, both have a very similar design. AirPods are slightly smaller and sleeker, but the comfort is very close as both buds use oval shaped ear tips. AirPods just win this round though. It feels like less in the ear with their unique ear tips. The Live Pro fit is a bit deeper and I can feel the chunk of the bud more but I can still wear those for over three hours with no discomfort at all. When it comes to how secure the buds stay in your ear when you're doing stuff, it's a tie here. Even though these are a stem design, at least for my ear canals, both buds stay in really well when running, weight training, going pretty crazy in my sessions. I'm barely having to readjust the earbuds. Keep in mind, this is how the buds fit me. It's gonna be a little bit different for everyone. And if you like using your earbuds when training, the Live Pro have an IPX5 water resistant rating. The AirPods Pro IPX4 is basically the same thing. They do win when it comes to the case being water resistant because the AirPods case is IPX4 water resistant. The only real case that actually is in the true wireless world. Now with battery life, these are industry leading results on both pairs. With noise canceling on, on the Live Pro, you get eight hours from the buds, 30 hours in total with the case. On the AirPods, six hours from the buds, 30 hours in total with the case. But the AirPods are gonna get the win when it comes to the case size. It's slightly bigger than the Live Pro, but it is a lot thinner, so easier to chuck in your pocket. The Live Pro though, still easily pocketable. Both cases have wireless charging. The AirPods do have MagSafe charging. When it comes to fast charge, the Live Pro technically win because you can chuck the buds in the case. 15 minutes, you're getting four hours of playback on the earbuds. Compared to the AirPods, five minutes in the case gives you an hour's playback. Now, JBL doesn't advertise what it would take with five minutes. It might be the same here, but I'm gonna give the Live Pro the win just. And another thing I like about the Live Pro is the indicator lights on the case. It's just easier to know when you need to charge your case up, where on the AirPods, it'll change to red. And you can see it pop up on your phone, but I always take my earbuds out. I don't see it pop up on my phone. So the indicator lights, I'm just team indicator lights. Let me know what you prefer in the comments. But the AirPods fight back here with actual speakers built into the case, which work with the find my buds and find my case feature in the app. So you can pinpoint down to exactly where your case is, as well as your earbuds. The Live Pro only let you find your earbuds, but not the actual specific location. They'll just make a beeping sound when you're near them. Now, when it comes to controls, the AirPods Pro 2 have my favorite controls, the best controls you can get because you can control everything, including volume up and down by swiping up and down on the earbud. But not only that, if you're only using one earbud while you leave the other in the case, you can still control everything, play, pause, skipping tracks forward and back. Skipping tracks forward and... Oh my God, I forgot what controls there are. Oh. Play, pause, skipping tracks, noise cancelling, <laughs> noise cancelling controls and volume up and down. They also use force touch, which I prefer over touch controls. And they also have great any detection for auto pausing and playing your music. And you can just chuck one butt in your pocket and because it has a skin detection built into the sensor, it'll only turn back on if the butt is actually in an ear. In an ear in an ear. Now the Live Pro, they use touch controls. The sensitivity is great, but you don't have the option to control everything, including volume. You have to jump in the app and sacrifice either your noise cancelling controls or your playback controls. So you definitely can't control everything when you have one earbud in, but if you do only use one earbud, the controls change. So you can play, pause, skip tracks forward and back and summon voice assistant. The in-ear detection also isn't as good as the AirPods. You can chuck an earbud in your pocket and start walking around with it. But if you start like running or walking too fast, I noticed like sitting down, the in-ear detection would stop working and music would start playing. And the AirPods also have the always on Siri for your iOS users. Now connectivity, both pairs have Bluetooth 5.2, SBC and AAC. The advantage of AirPods, if you use iOS devices, is a seamless switching between devices. But the Live Pro are one of the rare true RC buds to have true multi-point connection. So you can have two devices connected to the earbuds at the same time. Not as seamless as the AirPods, but it works really well. You just have to pause playback on one device before you resume it on your other device. There is a slight delay, but it's pretty consistent where AirPods Pro, the seamless switching is not as seamless as it sounds. I actually did a poll recently and these are the results I got. So let me know in the comments also if you're having any issues 
with seamless switching. Now in terms of latency with watching movies and videos, AirPods Pro, no issues at all. The Live Pro have the slightest amount of latency, but you can jump in the app and turn on the video mode, which brings the latency down to levels equal to the AirPods, but you do lose about 5% roughly of audio quality. Now on both earbuds, you can use one at a time while you leave the other in the case, and both pairs work in mono mode, so when you're using just one earbud, you'll hear both the left and right audio channels, so you're not gonna miss anything with your music. Now when it comes to gaming latency for you mobile gamers out there, here are all the results I got in my latency test on both iOS and Android. You can see there AirPods has some of the lowest latency if you're using that on an iOS device. But generally, if you're below 400 milliseconds for casual games, you're fine. You wanna be getting around the 200 millisecond range if you're into more faster reaction games like shooters and stuff like that. But now let's head on outside and see how the microphones compare. All right, so here we are in the outside world with the JBL Live Pro 2. I also wanna quickly mention these have a feature called Voice Aware. So when you're on a phone call, you can hear your own voice and hopefully all the noise around me is getting blocked out. It's a little bit windy and there's a lot of cars zooming past. All right, and here we are with the AirPods Pro 2. These don't have voice aware, but you can easily just hold down and turn your transparency mode on or noise canceling on. And let me know what you think of the microphone quality differences down in the comments below. All right, now on to noise cancelling. How I test my noise cancelling to keep it even. I chuck on my soundbar with simulation, train, plane noise, and crowd noise. And I also test all my earbuds at my local gym. And here's my overall ANC ranking with all the TrueWireless earbuds that I have tested. You can see the AirPods Pro 2 slightly in that higher spot. When it comes to lower frequency sounds, it's very close in terms of quality. The AirPods Pro 2 is slightly better but it's with those more high frequency sounds like weights clanging around in a gym, voices and chatter. That's where the AirPods Pro 2 start to separate themselves just a little bit more than the Live Pro, but very subtle. So the Live Pro at their price, easily the best noise canceling value you can get right now. You're also able to adjust the strength of the Live Pro noise canceling in the app. Pretty rare feature, you can't do this on the AirPods. And when it comes to wind coming in through the microphones with noise canceling on, both pairs let a little bit of wind in. The AirPods let slightly less in. And this is the same with the transparency mode, although this is where the Live Pro starts to let a little bit more wind in. And speaking of the transparency mode, this is an easy win for the AirPods. The best transparency mode, a solid 10 out of 10. It's very natural, very easy to hear things, which is what you want with the transparency mode. The Live Pro aren't too bad. I'm rating them about a 7.5 out of 10, so not as natural. There's a bit of white noise hiss. You can adjust it in the app if you like. You can also do this on the AirPods in the accessibility section, but I found on the Live Pro, if you increase the transparency, it adds to that white noise hiss and sounds less natural, although you can hear things a little bit better. All right, before we talk about what's most important sound quality, please hit that like button if you like the video. If you don't like it, maybe keep watching and you'll like it later, then press it then. So first, starting with volume, both pairs go equally as loud. Anything above 85%, you're in some serious hearing loss territory. Below 70% is in your safe listening levels. But when it comes to some really low level listening, I'm talking like the first two to four clicks of volume, AirPods advertise that the H2 chip allows for deeper bass and crisp highs at all volumes. And it does that with the H2 chip actually increasing the bass as the volume goes down because we hear bass a little bit less at lower volumes compared to high volumes. The Live Pro though, even though they don't advertise this, I reckon they're doing the exact same thing because at those low volumes, the bass stays very similar to the amounts that you're hearing at the higher volumes. Although the AirPods do win when it comes to the crisp highs, the Live Pro loses a little bit of clarity at the low volumes. But now onto the sound quality itself. First, let's talk about sound customization because the AirPods sort of have it in the accessibility section. It's under headphone accommodations. You turn that on and you have some options in there, but you don't really get too much freedom. All that you can really do is increase mids and treble, but I honestly think they sound the best with that feature off. It is more of an accessibility thing, so you can change things like the left to right audio balance, which is pretty cool. Not many earbuds can do that. The AirPods also have spatial audio, which I found increases the bass. It gives it a more full open bass response at the same time, kind of increasing the treble and directness of the sound. But I found on certain tracks, especially with drops in EDM and stuff like that, it did make things sound a little bit weird, a little bit echoey. You can also personalize this to your actual ear shape. I found this made it worse though. So this is how it works for me. I've heard it working much better for other people. Now the Live Pro don't have spatial audio, but they have a 10 band EQ customization in the app. 
You can add a total of 10 bands, take some away if you want, and really customize these earbuds to your liking. And this is one of my favorite presets that I've saved. I just increase the sub bass a tiny bit and the treble. That's pretty much it. I think they sound much better with this tuning on. So I am gonna talk about the sound quality with that EQ on, but overall, it's an easy win for the AirPods when it comes to clarity and balance. It's just a nice, clean sound. You get great vocal clarity, crisp treble, great instrument separation, all in a pretty open sound stage. It's just a well-refined tuning with a nice amount of bass. It is a balanced bass response, but a nice amount of boosting in that sub bass. And that will work with most genres that you're listening to. I am only saying most genres because the Live Pro out of the box are a more bass heavy tuning. So a lot more boosting in both the sub bass and the mid bass. I rated it a solid eight out of 10 on my subwoofer scale where a pair like the AirPods are about a seven out of 10. So it is a little bit over the top, but it's well refined to the point of not getting bloated or too messy with the mid bass, which is an issue with a lot of buds that have too much boosting in the bass. The mid range, although not as forward as the AirPods, still sound really great with the bass booster tuning here. So vocals never get lost. This is the same with instrumentation. My only issue is with the treble response. It is a little bit lacking. Like I said, I did bump up the treble in the EQ, but even then you can only change the stock setting so much before things start sounding a bit weird. So even with my boost in that treble, I find it's just a little bit lacking compared to the AirPods. So to be honest with you, comparing the two buds here, it's like comparing apples to oranges. So I think this is gonna be a little bit easier when I run through my genre rating, letting you know which bud I think sounds better with each individual genre. So starting with EDM, this can at times be more vocal driven, but with a lot of emphasis on synths and drops. That's why I'm giving it a tie. If you're into more vocal focused EDM, you'll probably prefer the AirPods. If you're into more heavier stuff like Hardwell, then you'll probably prefer the Live Pro 2. And this is similar with hip hop and R&B. Do you want the vocals to be more at the forefront or that nice deep sub bass with those bass lines really thump and really hit hard on the Live Pro 2. Now with metal, this was another close one, but I did have to give it to the AirPods. Just with that nice clean sound, great instrument separation, nothing ever gets lost. Your screams, the nice low end of distorted guitars, the double kicks, they're like they're bass booster to the point where you're not really losing that heavy sound that metal has. And this is similar with rock, although the Live Pro 2 catch up a little bit here since there is generally not as much going on in rock. So if you like a little bit of extra thump in your low end, you might prefer the Live Pro 2 there. Now with your acoustics, jazz, classical, this is where the AirPods treble really starts to shine. Hi-hats, crashes, orchestration, the pluck of the acoustic guitars just has a lot more detail and more realism on the AirPods. Live Pro not bad, AirPods just easily better. Now onto the subgenres though, hardstyle, trap and dubstep, techno. I'm giving the Live Pro the win. I just find a bass heavier tuning works better with these genres, especially in hardstyle where there is just so much emphasis on the kicks and different frequencies. Going back and forth between the two, the AirPods can just sound a little bit lacking on certain tracks. This is where I find spatial audio does work the best with AirPods, but again, on certain drops and kicks, the spatial audio can make things sound a bit echoey and weird. With side trance and trance, I am giving the AirPods a win. I find a punchier bass response works better with those genres, as well as the vocals in trance and the synths in trance and side trance that just have more energy and vibrance on the AirPods. Finally, symphonic metal, Similar situation to metal there, but you're adding in orchestration. So the instrument separation works really well with the AirPods. And finally with movies, AirPods getting the win with their superior mid range as well as spatial audio. Combined with Dolby Atmos and the head tracking that spatial audio has, you can get some pretty cool experiences there not seen on the Live Pro. So the AirPods Pro 2 do win overall, but with the Live Pro 2 coming in at a third of the price, you get seriously close to the quality of the AirPods Pro 2. If you like your bass heavy tuning, you wanna save a bit of money, you can't go wrong with the Live Pro 2. But if you wanna see how the AirPods Pro 2 stack up against the buds in a similar price range, you're gonna to have to check out this video here. You're really gonna like it. I compared five earbuds, I ranked them, I scored them. So check that out. In the meantime, stay picky. I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.